Welcome, my lovely ladies, to the Feminine Energy Motivation Channel. I'm Cynthia, your guide on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. So today, I wanted to actually dive into 15 incredible secrets that will help you to enhance your femininity and even unlock your true potential. These suggestions are here to kind of illuminate your path, right, towards a more sort of authentic and radiant version of yourself. Remember, these are just tips. They're not rigid rules. This is just a space for those of you who are kind of eager to evolve on your feminine journey and want to know what kinds of things to consider that you haven't considered yet. That's all this is, okay? So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you enjoy the content. So that way you never miss out on the actual empowering insights and other stuff that we're going to have in store for you guys in the future. All right, working on a lot of things for you guys. So Um, but let's dive into it. Let's start with tip number one. I want you to embrace your emotions. Now, what do I mean by that? Your emotions are not weaknesses. They're powerful tools that actually connect you to your authentic self, that true inner girl that's deep down inside of you. Society may have actually taught us to suppress our feelings, but embracing them is essential for genuine femininity, right? I want you to think, for example, like crying, right? This doesn't indicate fragility. It actually shows depth and even empathy, also, laughter and smiles are not just expressions of joy, but also ways to spread positivity and even warmth. This allows you to experience sadness, anger, and other emotions that are fully a, a sort of like a testament to your humanity. It's not about hiding or denying these feelings, but instead it's actually about acknowledging them and kind of processing them in a healthy manner. By embracing your emotions, you actually honor your inner truth and you actually cultivate resilience. All right, let's dive into tip number two. I want you to pay attention to your movements. Your body language actually speaks volumes about your character and your personality. Small, deliberate gestures actually reveal your attentiveness and even your consideration for others. Let me explain. Whether it's the way that you hold a cup, right? I got my coffee over here. Or the way that you open a door. Your inner grace and kindness, right? Being mindful of your movements. This creates a sort of atmosphere of harmony and even respect. Connections with those around you will be absolutely just um, magnetic, okay? Now let's talk about the next tip, which is etiquette. This isn't about following rules, but it's about understanding the subtle nuances of actual social interactions. Now, knowing the basics of etiquette actually empowers you to navigate various situations with that sort of confidence and grace, right? It's about more than just knowing which fork to use, for example, at a formal dinner. I know that can be confusing, right? But it's about showing respect for yourself and others in every interaction, it goes further than that. Practicing good manners not only enhances your social skills, but it also elevates your self-confidence and even your presence. That's why etiquette's important. Now, tip number four is to be authentic. Authenticity is the cornerstone of true femininity. Embracing your true self actually means celebrating your uniqueness and owning your own individuality. It's about being unapologetically yourself, regardless of societal expectations or even norms. When you embrace your authenticity, you're going to be able to radiate a beauty and a sort of confidence that's unmatched. Every small gesture or even of like that sort of self-acceptance and even self-love, that's a step towards living a fuller, more happier life. Tip number five, take care of your hair. Your hair is more than just strands. It's a reflection of your personality and your style. Taking care of your hair is an act of self-love and self-care. Whether you prefer to wear it long like I do or even short, styled or just natural, maintaining healthy hair boosts your confidence and overall well-being. Also, additionally, I want you to think about accessorizing your hair with bows or even headbands or other adornments. All these things kind of add a touch of femininity and elegance to your look. All right. Tip number six. Wear perfume. Now, choose the right fragrance, right? This is a personal expression of your identity and style. Don't overdo it either. Perfume has the power to evoke emotions. They even create memories, believe it or not, and they leave a lasting impression. This is actually very interesting. When you wear a perfume, you're not just adding a sense of, you know, to your body, right? You're actually 
experiencing a, a part of who you actually are, whatever you prefer, whether it's floral, fruity, whatever it is, but finding that, per, that perfume that resonates with you actually enhances your femininity and leaves a positive impact on those around you. All right. Tip number seven, embrace dresses and even skirts. Dresses and skirts are timeless symbols of femininity and grace. They have the power to actually highlight your natural beauty and accentuate your curves in a more flattering way. So whether it's that you prefer sort of that flowy maxi dress, right? Or maybe even a tailored pencil skirt, whatever floats your boat. But choosing pieces that reflect your personal style allows you to express your individuality with confidence. Embracing dresses and even skirts is not just about following fashion trends. It's actually about embracing your femininity and feeling empowered in your own skin, all right? Tip number eight, I want you to maintain your nails. Your nails are a reflection of your overall hygiene and even self-care routine. Keeping them clean, even trimmed, right? And kind of just well-groomed actually demonstrates respect for yourself and even others, all right? Also, applying nail polish in soft, elegant colors actually adds a touch of sophistication to your appearance, overall appearance, whatever, whatever it is that you're wearing that day, you can tailor it, right? So whether you opt for that bold or even subtle hues or even taking care of your nails enhances your overall presentation and it boosts your confidence, okay? Also, another thing to consider, tip number nine, is to use handbags, right? So... Handbags are more than just practical accessories. I personally am a handbags girl, right? They're an extension of your style and your personality. But choosing the right handbag can actually complement your outfit and add a touch of sophistication to your overall look. Whether you prefer classic leather totes or maybe a trendy crossbody bag, right? Whatever it is. Selecting a handbag that aligns with your personal style allows you to express yourself confidently and effortlessly, all right? Tip number 10. Invest in delicate accessories. Accessories like earrings, even though I'm not wearing them today, necklaces, I didn't wear mine today either, and even bracelets. All of these are finishing touches that elevate your outfit from ordinary to extraordinary. You can opt for delicate, um, maybe even understated pieces, right, that add a sort of touch of elegance and charm to your look, whether you choose dainty studs or a subtle pendant necklace. Less is often kind of a little bit more with those statement pieces when it comes to accessorizing. So select accessories that complement your outfit and reflect your personal style. All of that allows you to actually express yourself with sophistication and even grace. Tip number 11, wear makeup. Now, this is debatable for some people, right? Makeup is actually a form of self-expression, ladies, all right? That allows you to enhance your natural features and highlight your beauty, Choosing the right makeup products and techniques can actually accentuate your best features and actually boost your confidence. So whether you prefer a more natural look or no makeup at all, right, whatever it is, or even a more glamorous style, whatever it is that works for you, but applying makeup can be a creative and empowering process. Remember, makeup is not about hiding or altering your appearance. It's about celebrating your unique beauty and expressing yourself authentically, all right? Now, tip number 12, I want you to prioritize personal hygiene. Good personal hygiene is actually essential for feeling confident and comfortable in your own skin. It's so important too when you're um, interacting with others, right? Because it shows that you have respect for yourself when you practice great hygiene, establishing a daily routine that includes, of course, showering, right? Brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, skin care, all of that. Not only does it promote physical well being, but it also enhances your self esteem. When you take care of your body, you end up feeling more confident and presentable, allowing your inner beauty to actually be able to shine through, right? So remember, personal hygiene is the foundation of femininity and investing time and effort into self-care pays off in both your appearance and your overall well-being. All right, tip number 13. I know this is debatable for some, especially when we were growing up in the 90s, but avoid baggy and dark clothes, okay? The clothes you wear have a significant impact on how you feel and how others perceive you. I used to love wearing baggy jeans, okay? But opting for that sort of well-fitted, lighter colored garments can actually boost your mood and even radiate positivity. Baggy and dark clothing may actually conceal your femininity and your personality, whereas fitted and more vibrant colors can actually highlight your curves and brighten your presence. Also, choosing clothing that complements your skin tone and even reflects your personality allows you to express yourself authentically and confidently, all right? Now, tip number 14, I want you to value time with your friends. 
building actually uh, these meaningful connections, right, with like-minded friends is actually essential for personal growth and overall well-being. Surrounding yourself with supportive individuals, positive people, positive people that want to elevate in life who actually understand and appreciate your journey towards your femininity can actually provide invaluable encouragement and even inspiration. It could be from sharing your experiences to seeking advice, whatever it may be, or even celebrating achievements. Having friends who share your values actually creates a sense of belonging and even camaraderie. But remember, friendships enrich your life and they contribute to your overall happiness and fulfillment. Believe it or not, they also, good friends, help you live longer. All right? So choose them wisely. All right, tip number 15. I want you to use fewer sneakers. I know I love me some sneakers, believe me. Even though sneakers are practical and they're comfortable, they may not always actually align with the delicate image often associated with femininity. Opting for footwear like flats or even sandals or maybe even heels, all of those can actually enhance your femininity and your elegance, adding a touch of charm to your outfit, right? The right pair of shoes can actually elevate your posture, boost your confidence and actually complement your overall appearance. So whether you're attending a special event or maybe you're running errands, choosing footwear that actually reflects your personal style allows you to actually express yourself authentically and even confidently. I get it. We all want to wear sneakers all day long. I know I do. I actually walk around with my pantuflas, which is uh, sandals in Spanish, right? I love me some sandals, but every once in a while, you got to take them off. Get into your femininity and embrace that part of you. Anyways, I hope you found these 15 incredible tips helpful in embracing and celebrating your femininity. But remember to hit the subscribe button for more empowering content just like this. There's actually going to be more. I went through this rather quickly. I didn't go into depth because otherwise this video would be way too long. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will be coming out with a lot more content related to this. So be sure to check out our videos on, um, you know, my channel, for example, if you want to check out, you know, more fabulous inspiration and ideas and whatever. So until next time, keep shining with your unique light and style to live the life you love and love the life you live. I love you ladies so much. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.